today's video is the long-awaited baby moon haul so if you don't know I am going on a little baby moon trip but it's actually not with my husband it's with a few of my girlfriends so I'm going with Tara Henderson Aaron Williams and Krista Bowman Ruth all three of them are also doing baby moon hauls as well well Krista is actually not pregnant but she is TTC right now for baby number two, so we are wishing her all the best of luck and sending her baby dust. Y'all know that I have been shopping for the baby moon for like the past month, and I've gotten so many adorable things. We are going to Florida, so warmer weather. We're hoping for no rain. I am currently 28 weeks pregnant right now, so I am officially in my third trimester. It's been a little bit difficult to shop, I'm not gonna lie. Like. When I went to Vegas last year with the girls, it was so much easier to shop for that because I was like my normal size. And now I'm much bigger and nothing fits me. So going shopping was very interesting, but for any of you guys who are pregnant or who are planning on going on a baby moon or even just a girl's vacation this spring or summer, I think you will love this haul because I found some of the cutest pieces, the cutest outfits. So I will link everything down below if you guys wanna check it out. And don't forget to go check out my girlfriend's hauls as well, Erin, Tara, and Krista. I will have them linked down below. We are going to be vlogging on this baby moon trip in Florida as well. So be sure to follow all of their channels if you don't already. And let's just jump right in to the haul. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys are these really adorable bobble bar earrings. They're blush and they're just dangly and like beaded. And it's funny, I actually ordered these online, I think from Nordstrom. And when I got them in the mail, the first thing Camden said when he saw them was, Oh my God, Mama, octopuses. <laughs> and I was like dying laughing because they kind of do look like octopi. Octopi, I think that's how you say it. And these were $38 in case you're wondering. The next accessory I bought for the trip is this really cute like beaded bracelet. And this I got from Everywhere But Water. So this is more of like an accessory that you wear, I guess, to the pool. It was $18 and it has like cream colored beads in it and silver beads. And I just thought it would be really, really pretty with my bathing suits. The next accessory I bought is this adorable little star choker. Um, it's gold and it just has like the little dangly stars on it. You guys have probably seen these around a lot. They're like very in right now. But I just think they're so cute and I found this at Urban Outfitters and this was 18 bucks. Okay, so the next accessory I found were these really cute scrunchies. I got these from Free People and it was like, I think it was 3 for 12 which is a great deal. There's like hair all in it because I was trying them on. But I got three colors. They have so many different colors as well but this one is like a velvet mauve color. And it's cute because they have like these little ties right here. And then I also got a black velvet one and this really cute cream and white striped one. This isn't velvet. I don't know what material this is, but it's not like a velvet one. I bought this for Vegas and I ended up not even wearing it. Like it still has the tag on it and everything. It's from Target, so I don't know if they have it anymore, but if I can find something similar, I will link it down below. But it's just a hair scarf, and I thought it was so cute. I loved all of the different colors in it because it will go with so many things, and it would just be so cute. Like, I don't know. I'd probably put my hair up in like a ponytail or a bun or something and then wrap this around my head. Next <clears throat> are these sunglasses. I'm literally obsessed with, I love them. I love this brand. It's, I don't think it's pronounced Quay. It's spelled Q-U-A-Y, but I think it's pronounced Key. I don't know why I want to say that, but anyway I bought these sunglasses and I love this brand I also have a pair of the aviators from them that are so cute they're like faded aviators black and then they fade into clear um, and those are like my favorite one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses I own but I bought these because I thought they were so cute I love that they're oversized and will go with like everything because they're black and then they have like the little gold hardware I'm also bringing these sunnies that you guys already know about because I wear them all the time. I always get questions about these. And I believe I bought them from Forever 21 last summer. I'm going to try and find them again and link them down below. Um, but yeah, I love, love these cute sunglasses too. 
Okay, now I'm gonna show you like some of the makeup that I bought and like hair stuff. First, I'm gonna start with this travel perfume, which is so random, but it smelled so good. So I got this from Francesca's and it's called the Traveler, which I think is adorable. The scents that are in it are sparkling plum, orange flower, and warm amber. I've always wanted my own like signature perfume, but I just have never stuck to anything. I think the only thing that I can say that I have stuck to for like more than once, like I've bought it twice, is like the Flower Bomb. And I absolutely love Flower Bomb, but I feel like everyone wears it. Like you literally go up to the grocery store and you, you smell like three chicks wearing Flower Bomb. I figured, for traveling this one was perfect it just smells so good I can't explain it I bought this little Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer from TJ Maxx it was only $3.99 you guys it's so tiny like I thought it was like a little bit bigger than this um, this thing is tiny but I feel like it is perfect for traveling and just throwing it in my um, purse or like my pool bag It's really, really pretty, and I've heard amazing things. Like, there's a full-out Sun Bunny cult. And then I asked you guys on Instagram what your favorite long-wearing, full-coverage foundation was. A lot of y'all were telling me, like, Urban Decay All-Nighter Foundation or Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I love Estee Lauder Double Wear. I used to wear it all the time, but it's just so thick and heavy. It really looks amazing on your skin. Like I use it whenever I go to a wedding or if like I do a bride's makeup, I will use it. But it is just really thick and since I'm gonna be in the sun, like at the pool, at the beach, stuff like that, I just don't want anything too thick, I guess. A lot of you guys recommended this and it is drugstore, which is why I ended up deciding to try it out. It's a L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear. I got it at Ulta and I read the reviews online and they were amazing like there wasn't one bad review that I read um, so I decided to try this out I got the shade 460 and then I also picked this up from Ulta this is by Mac it is their lipstick in the color honey love I wanted a new nude lipstick the reviews on this were also amazing so I have not tried this out yet but I will swatch it for you guys it's so pretty it's such a pretty nude this is such like an awkward angle with my hand. I also picked this up from Ulta. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This had the most amazing reviews. I know I keep saying that, but honestly, that's why I bought all these products because the reviews were so good. I did use it earlier today, and I have to tell you, I am so impressed with it. And it's not like one of those little squirt bottles. It's like an actual mist. Like, it's so refreshing on your face. And then the last makeup kind of hair item that I want to show you guys is this Kristen S working texture spray this is from Target I actually sprayed it in my hair like right before I started filming this and it really does give so much volume and texture to your hair okay so now I'm gonna go into like hats and handbags and stuff like that this is the cutest little clutch I ordered this on Amazon actually it just got here like two hours ago I'm so happy it did so I could show you guys but it's just a little clutch you can easily fit like a card in there some money your phone it has like a little magnetic snap right there and it's just a little straw clutch I thought it was so cute it would be perfect because we are going out to like some really fancy dinners while we're there and we're like really treating ourselves um, and going all out so I thought this would be perfect to bring to the restaurants this is another thing that I ordered for Vegas that it didn't come in time and this is free people I want to say it's just like this black straw hobo bag I think it's called like a hobo bag so it just goes over the shoulder and it's just so cute perfect for the pool or the beach I do have a black bikini that I'm going to show you guys and I plan to wear this straw black bag for the pool that day I did bring this to Vegas as well and I brought it to California for my brother's wedding week like in Malibu over the summer and it is just the cutest little round purse so I got this from forever 21 and I think it was like between 20 and 30 bucks and it's so sturdy like it literally you would not think this was from forever 21 I was shocked when I got it in and it just closes right here and then it has like this really cute brown strap 
I'm obsessed with this purse. Like I love it. I feel like I'll be using this every single summer. This is something I'm so excited about. I ordered this from Cowpack online and it's a five piece packing cube set. So it's pretty much just to organize everything in your suitcase. And I've never used anything like this, you guys. Like usually I will just fold everything and like put it in my suitcase nicely. But once I get to my destination, I feel like I'm so unorganized I can never find anything because I literally have just piled everything in and I don't know where anything is so I'm excited to finally have some like organization cubes and they have these in so many different colors I got the blush one so there's like five pieces I'm not gonna open all of them but it's just like this it's mesh in the front like dresses in one bras in another pajamas in another you know and you just organize everything and then throw it in your suitcase and you're good to go Next is this adorable hat. So I think this is called like a fedora, I guess. Okay, I just realized I have not been saying the prices of some of the stuff, but um, again, I will try and find everything and link it down below. I'm sorry about that. It's just totally like pregnancy brain right now. But I did get this adorable hat. It's one size fits all. Um, I ordered it from Nordstrom. So I just think it'll be so cute for the pool. It has the black ribbon right here, so it'll be perfect with the black bikini that I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, I love it. I thought it was so adorable. The only thing is I don't know how I'm going to travel with it because <laughs> I don't really want to put it in my suitcase. I feel like it'll be crushed. But then again, I don't really want to wear it to the airport either. I feel like it'll look totally weird. So, and I don't have like one of those like really fancy hat boxes or anything like that. And I'm not spending money on a hat box for this hat. Like, no. So me and the girls all ordered the same set of pajamas. These are so cute. They're from Revolve. So we're all going to be matching one night in our PJs and we thought it would just be really cute for pictures and stuff like that. I should probably, I think Tara or maybe it's Krista, someone is bringing a steamer. Thank God. Because like half of my clothes are so wrinkled and I don't own a steamer. I own an iron that I don't think I've ever once used. <laughs> so someone's going to have to steam my clothes for me when we're there because I don't know how to do it. This cute little pajama top and then it has like the lace sleeves right here here are the little shorts and they also have the lace detail on the bottom and they're like really stretchy so i should be fine with the shorts i'm just kind of worried that my belly might be hanging out of the top let's hope not we also all ordered really cute blush slippers from express i think the girls have all gotten theirs in but mine have not come yet and i'm really hoping that they come by the time that we leave for the trip but they're adorable and I will also link those down below um, because they match the blush PJs perfectly and they're so cute. I've already talked and raved about my new pregnancy leggings so I'm not going to go on and on about them in this video because you guys are probably so sick of hearing about these pregnancy leggings that I came across. But um, they are from P in the Pod and they are literally the most comfortable pregnancy leggings I've ever tried. So I feel like I hit the jackpot when I found these. But I'm definitely going to be wearing these to the airport, to and from. I also have these really cute Adidas t-shirts. I have one in white and one in black. I'm going to bring these as well just for like lounging around the hotel. Or I might wear these to travel and I'm not really sure yet. Alright, now I think we're going to go into the shoes. And then I will jump into the clothes and the bathing suits. Which is probably the most exciting part of the whole haul. First, I'm just going to show you a couple pairs of shoes that I plan to bring that are not new. I actually bought these for Vegas, but I'm obsessed. These are my favorite pair of nude wedges that I own. They are from Dolce Vita, and they do still sell them in all different colors. They are so comfortable. Literally, it feels like you're not even wearing anything. So if you're all about like comfort, but you still want to be cute for this spring and summer, definitely check these shoes out. And then I'm also bringing my favorite pair of black wedges. These are Steve Madden. I bought a new pair of heels for this trip from Soul Society. I've never bought any shoes from this brand before either. And they were on like major sale a month ago when I ordered them. So hopefully they're still on sale for you guys if you like them. So they look like this. They've got like the little fringe in the front. And they're like suede material. Then they have this cute little wooden block heel which I love. Um, and also I heard that these are extremely comfortable, which is perfect because I'm pregnant. Like, I'm very pregnant, so I definitely need to be comfortable in heels. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a couple pairs of sandals that I got. I snagged these from TJ Maxx 
they're from steve madden how cute are these i know they're very like trendy and in right now i've seen so many girls wearing these i found these at tj maxx and they were on sale for 35 bucks originally they are 56 and then i picked these up from nordstrom these i'm obsessed with these you guys these are from sam edelman like seriously how cute are these um these are perfect for the pool like that's exactly what i had in mind when i bought them was for the pool with like my bathing suits and cover-ups and pool bags you can see that the material is like kind of like a straw material but i love 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 these sandals and then i bought a really cute pair of sneakers to travel in they are the air force ones but they're a specific kind because as you can see they're like really chunky right here which is what i think is so adorable about them and these come in so many different colors as well these are the mauve ones i will try and find a link for you guys though they might not have this color in stock but i'll try and find a similar pair and link it below but i just think these are so adorable i'm gonna wear them with my leggings and some kind of like t-shirt and maybe even i don't know this like zip up jacket i found this at tj maxx too so first swimsuit that i'm going to show you guys is the black bikini i was talking about i picked this up from target it's so cute so it looks like this it's got like the tie down the front and then it has like these cute little sleeves that kind of hang off your shoulder like they kind of go right here which i love i love it look i think it's so flattering and i did get a size large and this was 20 bucks and then i just picked up a regular black bikini bottom from target this was 15 bucks i also got a size large nothing special but the back has like the cinched down the center which I think always makes your butt look kind of good. So I tried this on in Target. Surprisingly, I thought it looked really cute with the bump. And then I got this really adorable cover-up for it. This is from Everywhere But Water. It's the Becca brand. And it's just a regular kind of like, it kind of looks like a shawl, but it's a cover-up. And what I love about it is it has like the little fringe at the bottom. So I think that'll look so cute with the bikini. I bought one other bathing suit for the trip and it is a one piece it is from everywhere but water and it's by the brand Tina Turk yeah so it's just one of those really cute off-the-shoulder one pieces and it does have padding of course and I think what drew me the most to this bathing suit well first of all i love like the look of it and the style and the off the shoulder but it was the color like i love this merlot color i think it's so so beautiful and the back is nice like full coverage this is not a maternity swimsuit so it doesn't have the cinching on the sides so i had to like really go up in the sizes to be comfortable and it looks really cute with the bump so as i said earlier we are going out to two really nice dinners so i bought two really like cute fancier dresses one is definitely more fancy than the other i will show you that in just a minute but for one of the dinners i picked this really cute maxi up this is from nordstrom it's this beautiful like golden mustard color which usually i don't wear this color but i thought it was so so pretty like i don't know with my skin color with my hair like i honestly just I was so drawn to it and when I tried it on it was really cute with the bump it has one like big slit just to make it like a little I guess sexier I don't know and then I love these little ties up here I think those are so cute and then this is the other dress for our other fancy dinner it is so cute it's a shorter dress I think it goes I want to say it goes like right above my knees maybe and then it has like cutouts for the shoulders and then look at the sleeves it's got these cute little bell sleeves I think the sleeves is just like what I loved the most about this dress. This is a maternity dress. It's from Pink Blush. So it is for pregnant women and it's very stretchy, but it doesn't have the ruching on the sides, which I was pleasantly surprised because I don't always love that ruching. I feel like sometimes it's just, I don't know. I don't like the look of it all the time. So I like that this actually doesn't have it but it's still really stretchy so i can't wait to wear this one next i picked this up honestly you guys i don't even know if i'm gonna end up wearing this i got this from forever 21 online i just thought it was so cute as you guys can see i'm like really into the off the shoulder kind of trend i think it's so adorable 
So it has these really cute big bell sleeves. They are like attached right here, but it's got that look where they don't really look like they're attached, if you know what I mean. It is like a shorter little dress right here. So I think this is perfect like for the daytime when we're running around. I think we plan on like going shopping one day or maybe out to the movies or something. I don't know. Or this is perfect for a pool cover up as well. So I'm just going to bring this just in case. And then here is another dress that I'm not really sure where I'm going to wear this. Probably more for lounging. This is from Motherhood Maternity. But it is like a maxi dress so it does go all the way to the floor. It has the cinching on the sides and then like these little quarter length sleeves here. It's a very simple like stretchy black dress. I bought it more so that I could just be comfortable. Like if I just need to like slip something on real quick, we are going to do like a whole spa day, which I'm super excited about. So maybe I will just throw this on for the spa. The last dress that I picked up, I actually did buy this specifically for the day that we go into town and like go shopping and stuff like that. Go out to lunch. Um, I got this from Forever 21 online as well. It was only $27. How cute is this, you guys? It does go low right here, so I'm definitely going to have to wear, like, a bralette underneath. I do have, like, a mauve bralette, a black bralette, and a white bralette. I'll probably bring all three of them. They're really cute and lacy. I think they're from Free People, I want to say. And then it has, like, these sleeves that are, they kind of just, like, hang off your shoulder. I don't know what these are called. Like, loose, wide sleeves? I don't know. I'll have to ask Tara what that's called. She's the fashionista of the group for sure, but it cinches around here, so it'll be cute for the bump because the bump can just go right underneath it. And then it is a maxi, so it goes all the way down. But I just thought it was so pretty, and it looked so cute on the model online too. So I thought this was perfect for our little girl's day out shopping. My mom actually found a really cute, I wish I could have showed you guys this, but I haven't picked it up from her yet. She was at TJ Maxx, and she found a really cute white cover up I think that I'm going to use for the, the Merlot one piece but I think it goes to the floor it's really pretty and then she also got me these really cute dangly like mustard color earrings that I think I'm going to wear with the mustard dress to dinner so those are the items that I wasn't able to show in today's vlog because I don't have them with me yet but you guys will definitely see them in the baby moon vlog and I can't wait to post that for you guys I feel like it's going to be so much fun but again, don't forget to go follow the other girls. I will have their channels listed down below. Yeah, I think that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss our baby moon Florida vacation. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know